All right, we're going to do a quick uh, comparison between the HTC One S and the HTC Evo 4G LTE. Uh, the One S is for Sprint, and the Evo is, or excuse me, the One S is for T-Mobile, and the Evo is for Sprint. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. I'm going to unlock this. Okay, so here you have the two home screens. Uh, the Evo LTE sports a 720p Super LCD screen uh, that generates awesome colors. Definitely a clear, crisp, vibrant screen. You can see the icons very smooth. Uh, and over here on the One S, you have a, a 960 by 540 Super AMOLED display QHD Pentile. So it has subpixels within the pixels, and it's a little bit more pixelated on the One S uh, than it is on the Evo due to the higher resolution, but also due to the fact that it's a lower resolution pentile display. So you will see more pixels, but it's not really noticeable on video and games. Uh, you may notice it on text here and there, but uh, it's not something that's really a deal breaker in my opinion. Okay, so in terms of speed, both are running the same hardware. Uh, the Evo has NFC and LTE uh, however Sprint has not rolled that out yet but will be doing so soon and the One S is HSPA Plus uh, with no NFC and uh, the front facing camera is a VGA front facing camera whereas this is a 2 megapixel uh, however the back cameras are the same okay, you can see the design of the phone there's the back there's the back of the One S uh, both very thin both very light I do believe the uh, 1S is a slight bit thinner, however it's not something that you will notice, um, I mean using the phone you won't notice it, I mean I don't know if I can get an angle here, but it's nothing you can really notice. Uh, the 1S has rounded edges across the bezel of the screen whereas the Evo LTE is square. I kind of like the square look because it gives you less bezel or the impression that it has less bezel. Uh, and it has a flattened HDS look, and I like that, it's nice. Okay, in terms of the software, both are running Sense 4, minor changes. Uh, if you look here at the app drawer, for example, uh, if I was to switch the tab to uh, the download tab, you get that nice little 3D effect, whereas with the 1S, you don't get an effect. Just go straight to it. Okay, now let's just go ahead and do a quick uh, test of the speeds, uh, opening certain apps. Alright, for that, this is going to be kind of hard because I have the camera in hand, but... Alright, let me just go ahead and do this here. Settings. It opened pretty quickly. Settings. I think this Evo opened a little bit faster. Okay, let's go ahead and open Maps. Wow, that was identical. Okay, let's go home. Um, let's go ahead and open Netflix. I think I opened the Evo one a little bit quicker, uh, but you can see right there it's pretty uh, pretty even regardless. I know a lot of this depends on the network, but in any case, um, yeah, the Evo I opened a little quicker, so it already loaded up, but I mean the 1S is still taking its time. So the Evo, I believe, wins that one as well. Um, okay, let's go to JetFit here. identical that was literally identical all right let's go ahead and close out of some tasks here and do a quick uh, do a quick quadrant well I don't know if quadrant is on this I gotta download it but in any case let's go ahead and open the store play store So let's test this out. Okay, again, fail on my part. Well, in any case, let me go ahead and download Quadrant. You can see both screens are nice. Uh, I do believe the whites on the Evo LT are a little more accurate. However, the Super AMOLED does display better blacks. It's a little bit darker on the grays as well. Uh, but it's not really that noticeable. I mean, you can see the gray is right here. 
as opposed to the grays right here. Again, not noticeable whatsoever. It's actually a lot smoother on the Evo LT due to the higher, re higher resolution. So uh, it's a give and take. It's a give and take with the screens. Okay, let me go ahead and open quadrant here. Let me go ahead and open quadrant here. I'm going to go ahead and run, run a benchmark for both of these. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. And it really depends on a, a couple different uh, variables, such as what carrier it is that you want to go with, CDMA versus GSM. GSM takes SIM cards. This doesn't have a SIM card slot. However, this does have expandable memory. In terms of battery life, I think our both are pretty close. The One S has good battery life. The Evo, from what I understand, has good battery life with a uh, 2,000 milliamp battery. This is a 1650 milliamp battery, but it's still pretty good. Uh, you can see the colorations here uh, on Quadrant. Uh, it's contrasted a little bit. Uh, a little bit more saturated on the 1S whereas the Super LCD tends to generate colors a little bit more accurately at least in my opinion uh, again it's on the eye of the beholder and okay, we're gonna go ahead and get to the end here so we can see both of the scores now again this is the first running of Quadrant I'm not gonna do any other benchmarks here uh, just Quadrant so let's see okay so yes and yes all right, so 49.91 on the Evo LTE, 45.66 on the One S. So the Evo wins. However, I have uh, let me go ahead and pull this up here. I did get some better scores with Quadrant on the One uh, S about a week ago, 52.36, which is pretty good. But in any case, they're about ex exactly the same. Again, same hardware, so uh, you're going to get same results. Uh, other than that, I mean, uh, keyboard-wise, it's exactly the same. Uh, Scrolling-wise, you know, you're going to get pretty smooth scrolling on the Evo, smooth scrolling on the One S. Again, the screen is really the uh, difference here, depending on what screen it is that you like. Um, whether you want a bigger screen or whether you're fine with a 4.3 inch is really your is really uh, your decision to make. Otherwise, uh, that's about it for now. We'll go ahead and get some more in-depth uh, coverage sometime later in the week. Otherwise, uh, I'm getting the Galaxy S3 soon, so I will be doing a couple reviews with the Galaxy S3 in comparison to both of these devices. Alright, thank you guys for watching.